Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Tip Tuesday. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a cool effect that you can do with some text. So bring in some footage where it has a nice clear foreground and a background. For me, it's walking up to a railing, having me as the foreground, and the background is the view of Lake Como. So once you've dragged your footage into the project, you wanna basically duplicate that with Command or Control D, and then the top layer, you wanna apply the Roto Brush effect. What this does is cuts you out of the frame and then you have your foreground, which is you, and the background, you know, where you're cut out. Let's do that now. If you want to cut yourself out and go along the frames to make sure it's not getting rid of any of your arms or your head or anything like that, make sure it's all good, and then freeze that once you're done, and let's go back to the main project. Now, let's add a text layer in between the foreground and the background layers. So you've got this already cool effect where the text is behind you, but we're not done yet. So the final thing of this is just to duplicate the text, put it to the very top, and then you want to turn off the fill and enable the stroke. Now you can choose how thick the line is, it's completely up to you. I chose five. Now you've got this very cool outline effect when you're walking in front of it, and then like when you go out of it, it's sort of like you're in between the text. It's funky, it's cool, it's fresh, it's fancy. So now you've turned your boring footage into something like this. Leave a like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ra.